energy is yours. And you get to have it every single day. Oh, hey, I'm back in the airport. I'm currently in Denver on my way to Hawaii. Um, attempt number two. <laughs> Yesterday did not work out too well getting leaving um, Detroit. However, I got to um, spend an extra day with my family and go to my grandma's burial. So it was perfect because everything is always working out perfectly, right? Um, so today I wanted to talk about faith. Um, and I mean faith in a wide variety of things, not just religion. Uh, obviously, those of you guys who know me, whether it's personally or um, through this world of the interwebs, um, know that there's been some family stuff going on, right? My grandma passed away and um, spends a lot of time with family. So I, she is a very religious woman. Um, her faith was the cornerstone of her life. And um, I personally have been on a journey, a huge spiritual journey for the past um, year, but especially the past three months as I was in Peru, I was in Bali, I was in Hawaii, um, came back home, or home, I'm back to Michigan, and now I'm going back to Hawaii for my friend's wedding. Um, and there are lots of very spiritual places that I'm going to. The reason why I wanted to talk about this today is because uh, this whole, the last few um, days that I've been in Michigan has reminded me the importance of faith. Um, my brothers and I were actually talking about this. It renewed all of our faiths, um, even though mine has been being strengthened even more, but to see my, how my grandmother lived her life and the importance of faith. Um, and like I said, I'm talking about this from not just a rel religious perspective, even though that was very important for her and is important for some people. But I want you to know that um, I'm not just talking about religion here. I think I want you guys to think of. So I'd actually love for those of you who are watching now or the replay for you to share what faith means to you, because I think it's, it's kind of a powerful thing when you look at what does this actually mean? What does faith mean to you? And what does faith look like for you in your life? And then, of course, what does faith, faith feel like? Um, because I kind of want to talk about this a little bit. Katie says, faith is going into life with intention, but knowing it's going to catch you and completely deliver the highest and greatest good, leaning to you into the unknown with security. That is beautiful, Katie. I love that. Love that. To expand upon what Katie just shared, I think faith is about believing in something higher than yourself, believing that you do not have to do this alone, um, believing that there is something greater than you that you get to lean on, you know? Um, and it's not this needy kind of energy, it's this kind of relaxing into, yeah, I'm good. Everything is gonna be okay. And I think that when you have true faith in, and whether that's in something in a religious perspective, in God, in something bigger than yourself, um, if it is in a faith in your, your mindset, your, in yourself, um, faith as far as, you know, being able to deeply connect to something, something else, um, faith in the spiritual world, in spiritual realms, in, you know, angels and guides and, you know, feeling other forces and other energies. It doesn't matter what it is. It's just faith in something outside of you. And when you can connect to that and have faith, it allows you to trust. It allows you to release the need to control things. It allows you to surrender. It allows you to go deeper into yourself, into what you're about, into who you truly are on a deep soul level, but it also allows you to connect to something higher than yourself even more because you trust it, you surrender it, and you you have faith that it's all going to work out perfectly. And so, you know, my grandmother was a very religious person. She always, always believed. And one of my, one of my beliefs is that everything gets to work out perfectly. Um, so someone was asking me this about traveling in general, and they were like, oh my gosh, Actually, my, no, just kidding, my, my dad said this. Um, my dad said, Katie, it's amazing, as he was driving me to the airport in Detroit, he's like, it's amazing that you haven't lost your bags in all these travels that you've been on in the past few months. And I was like, 
well, yeah, because I believe that everything works out perfectly and traveling isn't stressful. Traveling is actually fun and I, I enjoy it and whatever. And so like, of course I don't lose my bags. Like I, that thought doesn't even cross my mind. So it's kind of a mindset thing, obviously. Um, you know, I definitely have a positive mindset when it comes to this kind of stuff. But it's also it's also faith. It's also faith that things get to work out perfectly. It's it's a trust and a belief that things are going to be okay. Everything's going to be fine. Um, and so you can apply this. That's why I'm talking about faith is not just in a re- religious um, a religious view, a religious lens. Faith trickles into every area of our life. It's like faith and trust that everything does work out perfectly, whether it's travel, whether it's, you know, your finances, whether it is your, your business, whether it's your health, whether it, whether it is, you know, being able to see your family and spend time with your family or whatever, whatever. You get to have faith and you get to trust that things work out perfectly. So living a life of faith is that, is believing, trusting, and knowing that things are going to work out for you. So like I was just saying, you know, my grandmother lived a life of faith and she always said now she said this in reference to God and if you guys don't believe in God that's okay but I want you to apply this she didn't have much she really didn't have much all of her her life was in one room when she passed away it was in all in one room all of her possessions everything was in one space but she was like I know I'm going to be okay like any stress and she went through a lot in her life and she was like yeah God's got my back so you can say the universe has my back, you know, my friends have my back, my, you know, the angels have my back, the guides have my back, whoever it is, whatever that faith that you, whatever you have faith in is, trust that, you know, it's got your back and you're good. And that's what faith is. So I want you to think about that and I want you to think, how can I live a life? So faith is really truly believing and trusting and knowing that it all is going to work out perfectly. And so my challenge for you today is to lean into faith, lean into trust, lean into surrendering control and knowing that everything will work out perfectly. And the more you have faith in whatever it is, something greater than yourself, the more things are working out for you in your life in every single way. So my challenge for you today is twofold to look at what faith means to you and what, how you can be living a life more of faith in all areas of your life. And also to go do something that brings you joy. I am Dr. Katie Henry. Take this challenge seriously. Choose joy, choose to live through faith. And then share with me what you do. Just comment below this video, share this video with whoever needs to hear this, and and choose, choose a life of faith. And, and then let that be open to interpretation and whatever that means for you. I want you to, you know, expand upon what faith is for you. So define what faith is and live a life of faith and do it through joy. I'm Dr. Katie Henry. Decide to live fueled by joy.